Well, here we go. Our green gauge, our green plum variety known as Rhine Claude Vert. Um, French sounding kind of name, isn't it? It's a self fertile green gauge plum. Very, very sweet. I love green gauges and um, they can be a little bit tricky to pollinate. So this has come into flower now in, uh, in the middle of spring. It's been a little bit late coming into flower because of the, uh, the poor weather we've had. But you can see on the flowers here, you've got the, um, the little clusters of yellow um, kind of sacks of pollen on the end of those stamens. That's the male part of the flower. And then somewhere in the middle, there will be um, another kind of rod without any pollen on, which will be the female recipient of said pollen. Normally, we would hope that the, um, the birds, sorry, the bees would, um, would pollinate these for us, but there aren't many bees around at the moment. I've seen a few flies and one bee. So what we're doing, we're very, very gently going around with a very soft paintbrush and just dabbing those sacks of pollen on the end of the stamens. And then there's one there. I can see a female part on that flower just sticking out there, pale green, and just dabbing on there. And doing the same thing that the bees would do transferring the pollen from those orange sacs on the stamens and then just dabbing it on gently on the center of the flower to transfer some pollen onto the female part of the flower it's a bit fiddly but if it means that we get a couple of pounds of lovely tasty fruits then i'm up for it Oh, there's a nice one. I can see the female um, kind of stigma in the middle of the um, the flower. They're just dabbing it, just dabbing it with my um, with my paintbrush, just there. Um, all these kind of orangey heads. That's the sacs of pollen on the stamens, and I just saw the stigma bending then as I brushed past, and hopefully we've transferred some of the pollen there. Now this is a self-fertile plum or green gauge, uh, which means that the pollen from its own flowers will pollinate the, um, the, the stigma. You will need to check and know the variety name of your, um, your plum or your fruit tree because very often fruit trees are what they call self-infertile. In other words, it needs pollen from another variety to um, get the pollination, in which case you'll need to have two uh, two different varieties. Oh, there's a nice flower there. There's some noisy birds nearby as well. Can you hear them? Um, so, yes, if you've got a self-infertile variety, it should tell you on the label, or if you can ask at the nursery or the garden centre where you get your fruit trees from, they can tell you whether it's um, self-fertile or not. If it's not self-fertile, you will need pollen from another variety of plum or another variety of apple, depending on what fruit tree you're growing pear cherry whatever um so you'll need perhaps to have two or to see if your neighbors have got um suitable fruit trees that will help cross pollinate but with this variety here we specifically chose it because it is self fertile um so all i'm just doing is going around and dabbing some pollen off the stamens and onto the stigma fantastic Whoa, we've got loads of flowers here. So, there you go. I'm going to carry on doing this. If you've got any questions, uh, if you've experienced similar problems with getting pollination on your fruit trees, do let us know, you know if we can help. But the key is to find out whether or not your fruit tree is self-fertile or not. And if it isn't, um, transferring the pollen like I'm doing won't help. You'll need to transfer pollen from another variety or yes, have another variety planted nearby so that you can get successful pollination. I hope that makes sense. We'd love to hear from you. If you've got any questions, any thoughts via our YouTube channel comment section and one of us, either myself or one of our lovely um, viewers and subscribers. Uh, that was a gentle hint, by the way, you are welcome to su subscribe to our channel um, for no extra charge. And we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Happy gardening. Bye.